final question. Devin Tackles, Stevens for Sensible Drug Policy. Uh, Dr. Kilkowski, <clears throat> you have uh, said, quote, you've ended the war on drugs. And with respect, sir, um, you work with an administration that's continually arresting 1.5 million people in the U.S. annually for drugs. Um, and this policy has been pushed on the Mexican government, which has led to 60,000 deaths today. And um, you can call it a war, you can call it a third way, um, but when you have deaths like this and acts of violence like this, it still very much feels like the most of the war. Um, so my question is, when is the U.S. drug policy actually going to end the war on drugs? And uh, what will we're I think what I've always mentioned is it's a mistake to call it a war on drugs because it lends itself to a simplistic solution to what we all know is a, is a very complex problem. Uh, most of the law enforcement in the United States that's done on drugs is done at the state and local level. It's clearly not done by the, the federal level. Uh, and I don't think if you, uh, uh, when you read and listen to the, uh, the, the speeches that President Calderon has given, uh, that it's because of the United States that uh, that, these, uh, uh, that his administration has taken on uh, uh, criminal cartels uh, within that country. It's going back to what I originally said in, in his uh, conversation with me, which was that the safety and security of the country belongs to the people who are elected and their representatives. It doesn't belong to organized crime groups that are engaged in multifaceted uh, criminal enterprises not just for the I want to thank all of you for being an attentive audience. Uh